Solution concentration can be measured in a ton of different units. Um, there's mass percent or grams per liter or um, grams per kilogram. All of those are not really important to what we're going to do in this chapter. All we need to worry about is molarity. Molarity is defined as moles of solute per liter of total solution. Um, it's important to note here that the volume is the total solution and not just the volume of the solvent. So if you make a solution with exactly one liter of, say, water, it's not going to turn out to be the molarity that you expect it to be. Um, <clears throat> in order to prepare solutions for this reason, we use something called a volumetric flask. And the volumetric flask is the piece of glassware with the long skinny neck and then the sort of bulbous bottom. And they're usually marked somewhere about halfway up the neck. So in order to prepare a solution, okay. in order to prepare a solution, you'd put some amount of your solute in the bottom of the flask and then fill it up to the line with your solvent. And you would um, make sure that it's all dissolved before you fill the flask completely. So in order to, here we go, um, in order to prepare a solution, typically speaking, you're going to have a solid solute. Then in order to figure out how many moles of that solute you need to include, you would take the molarity, which is capital M, and multiply it times the volume of solution that you need. That's going to equal the moles of solute required. From there, you typically convert your moles of solute into grams of solute um, just with dimensional analysis and then weigh out that amount of the solute. Typically, when people are making solutions, especially if it's a solution that you use very often, um, scientists will make what they call a stock or standard solution. And a stock solution is just a relatively concentrated solution that is prepared in bulk. So you'd make up a couple of liters of whatever your stock solution is. <clears throat> Once you have a stock solution, in order to use it, you're going to be diluting the stock. So for that, because molarity times volume gives us moles of solute, and to dilute something, we're just going to add pure solvent. We can use the equation M1V1 equals M2V2. What that means is we would take some <clears throat> small volume of the original stock solution 
and dilute it with a certain dilute it to a certain total volume to get our target concentration. So, <clears throat> for example, um, let's start. Let's start at the very beginning. Let's say we wanted to make two liters of three molar NaOH stock. So in order to do that, we would first take our three molar solution, multiply it by two liters. That tells us we need six moles of NaOH. The molar mass of NaOH is about 40 grams per mole. So six moles of NaOH. We'll do some dimensional analysis. There are 40 grams of NaOH per mole. So we would need <clears throat> 240 grams of NaOH. We would put that 240 grams into a two liter volumetric flask and dilute appropriately with just pure distilled filtered water. Now, if we had an experiment then that required, let's say we need 100 milliliters of 0 0.5 molar NaOH <clears throat> for some specific experiment. So in order to figure out how much we would dilute, we take our stock solution, which is three molar. We don't know what volume we need of that. So we'll just plug in V for that. And then our dilute solution should be 0.5 molar. And we need 100 milliliters. Now, when we are using M1V1 equals M2V2, we don't have to have our volumes in liters. We can leave them in milliliters, and that's not going to be an issue. In order to figure out moles required for a given vo or for a given concentration, it does have to be in liters. Um, our volume does. But for this, we can skip that part. So <clears throat> that gives us three times the volume that we want to dilute equals 50. And our volume then is going to be, oh, I should have a calculator for this. Our volume is going to be Mm -mm. Uh, about 17 or 16.7 milliliters. So in order to make the solution that we need for this one experiment, we would take 16.7 milliliters of our original stock solution, put that in a 100 milliliter volumetric flask, and then fill the rest with water.